tug of war. Contestants have to grab hold of a rope and battle a mystery opponent on the other side of a door. Now, apparently, this week's champions are all based on characters from the Bond movies. Finally, a proper movie reference has had a bit of thought put into it. Oh, first up, he's got a toy gun, he's not afraid to use it. It's M. Ambo. Hmm, Mambo. It's double O, my goodness, big pussy galore. Heavens. Your guess is as good as mine. It's odd job, apparently. And he's got a licence to fill. To fill himself with booze is Agent 001. The name's James Sack. James James Sack. First test, name the General's favourite Bond movie. Live and let... Die. Yeah, correct. Good start, James. But which Bond villain has he drawn? Uh-oh, it's that odd-looking odd job. Our man's got a real battle on here. And, of course, he's not allowed to use any of his special gadgets. This is a straight fight. And he's got a fearsome opponent in boob job. Uh, I mean, odd job. He's got too much pulling power for our hero. Yeah, doesn't look like it's going to go his way. He's giving it all he's got, but it's nowhere near enough. Sorry, James. In Takeshi's tug of war, you only live once, and you are out. Nay here is trying to flatter the general by telling him he'd be a great Bond if they remade the movie as the Thai who loved me. But the general's not impressed and sends him off to meet M. Ambo. This is going to be tough for Nay, but it could have been worse. I mean, there are a number of even tougher Mambos around, especially Mambo number five. I tried that at a wedding once. Let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. But this is a real grip and grunt fest. And Mambo is making all those hours in the waxing salon count. Sorry, they should have read all those hours in the gym count. Apologies, Mambo, I'm sure you can see how I made that mistake. But he's wiping the floor with Nay, who's been dragged through the mud. Yep, it's clearly not Nay's day. Now, here's Nid, who we saw earlier. I wonder if he's up for the challenge. Yeah, I'll take that as a yes. Nid's drawn the opponent that totally respects strong women, not sexist stereotypes. It's big pussy galore. Of course, pussy galore starred in the film Goldfinger. But what Nid needs here are gold biceps. And looks like maybe he's got them. I don't know if I should be rooting for Nid or rooting for Big Pussy there, but oh no, he's pulled her off balance. Yep, looks like Nid is the wildcat here. And while she might have the leather cat suit and the whip, she's not the dominant one. Because Nid's done it. Yeah, it's time for our opponents to meet. Come away, Nid. Come on, Nid. Bad Nid. Next up, we've got Tay. Now, Tay's been waiting for this moment all his life, and he can barely contain his excitement at meeting the general. Tay, come on, that's not how you should behave on a respectable game show. So if you're ever on one, try and remember that. Best to just get on with the contest, I think, and he has drawn more Thunderbird than Thunderball. It's 001. Now, he's clearly not up to this. Talk about shaken and stirred. There will be no fighting for him today. Yeah, and Tay gets a free pass through to the next round. Does this make sense to you? 